you expect from the Islanders? Well, I expect uh, a really tough game. I mean, uh, I watch them a lot, and uh, it's uh, if they don't have a very good game the one night, they always come out and have a good game the next night. And uh, uh, they're a work ethic team to start off with. So uh, I remember last year they had a bad game in Calgary, and they came into our building and they scored five in the first ten minutes. So we better be prepared for them. What makes Marzal so effective for him, Bruce, aside from his speed and skill? Well, I think speed and skill pretty well <laughs> says it all. But I mean, in terms uh, of defending him, I mean, through the neutral zone? Well, I mean, he's just so fast. Yeah. I mean, when he's got the puck and he's, and he's feeling it, I mean, he can get through the, the neutral zone really quick. And he, he always brings two guys on him. So when he, that's why he gets a lot of assists, because when there's always somebody open when he's, when he's going at full, full speed. You told us that you were hoping to have some news with Thatcher come January and hope, hopefully get him on ice. What's his status? Is, is he he skated this morning, so that was really good. I mean, but just no equipment or nothing. But uh, he skated this morning, and he felt pretty good. He's hoping to uh, at least put the equipment on, hoping, um, before this week is out. How about Pearson? Uh, Pearson, um, again, same, same thing. Skated with pucks, shooting pucks today. So... He's getting closer. We're hoping um, that he can make the road, both of them that can make the road trip with us. So that'll be a, that would be a big boost if that could happen. Bruce, would you expect to get him some work in Abbotsford, Thatcher, that is, before he steps in, or you'll you take him on the road? I will take him on the road, but I, you know, I mean, there's some guys that I think sometimes need work down there. I don't think Thatcher's a guy. If, if he has a few good practices, and I mean, we're not anticipating him back within a week or anything, but I mean, uh, he'd be the kind of guy I would think. It's not my decision, but uh, that uh, uh, would be able to step in after a couple of good practices, I would think. You follow the NFL fairly closely, Bruce. Did you see the DeMar uh, yep. hit last night? Mm -hmm. and what did you make of it? Some of your players talked about it this morning in terms of uh, how shocking it was. Well, it's shocking, and it's like, I mean, I think they made totally the right call. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, not to play. I mean, you're looking at some of them, their best friend, lying there not knowing what's happening. It would be hard for me to get myself back into the game. So I'm glad they did it. I mean, uh, the safety of players and everything in any sport is still the most paramount thing. You know, it's a game, and we love to play the game and compete, but we don't want anybody hurt. And the NHL was not immune, whether it was Pronger or Fisher or Bone Easter, they've been cardiac incidents. The, the yeah. NHL. These guys can't change the way they play, right, Bruce? I mean, no. It's a contact sport, and there's a element of danger. There is an element of danger, and everybody knows the element of danger when we step into the game. I mean, and I don't think uh, if, you, if you were worried about the danger, everybody would still want to play because they love the game. Lost a couple games here in a row. Just um, that you've got such a challenging schedule. How important is it that you kind of get some points here and not let it get away from you a bit? Well, we don't want it to get away for sure. I mean, it's a, it is a challenging schedule, but it's a, to me it's an exciting schedule. Like, I mean... I try to look at it as if we come away on top, you know, then you know you can compete against every team in the league. And, and it would make the last couple months uh, a real exciting portion of the season for us. So it's, if you look at it with fear, then you're, you know, you're going to sit there and you're going to, uh, uh, it won't be good. But if you look at it as a, a great challenge, and, and uh, I think uh, it'll, be, it'll be exciting. I'm, I'm hoping for the positives. And, and uh, again, um, not looking at it as I'm afraid of it. I'm looking at it as embracing it and saying, let's go and let's, let's uh, make this a positive reaction for us. Did you see the Canada game yesterday? Well, I saw the one highlight that counted, I guess. So. <laughs> uh, you've worked with some of the most lethal offensive players in the history of the sport as, as a coach. When you see a, a top player elevate their game with the chips being down, what, what does that mean to you as someone who's worked with talent? It means, you know, those are the guys that they want uh, everything on their shoulders. They want to be the guy, and they go out and prove that they want to be the guy. And uh, I have seen it a lot, and whether I played with them or watched uh, uh, Gretzky a lot and played with Alex or coached Alex and Perry and Getzlaff and these guys, and, and they want all the pressure on them. And this, guy, this young man looks like he's that kind of guy as well. So it's, uh, uh, I think... I think hockey's really uh, got their future uh, laid out with superstars, and it's uh, that's a great thing to see for the game. So fair to say you're you're a fan. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Uh, no, I'm a fan. <laughs>